New for version 6 of a QuickQ software is a new way of setting fade times for both your Q stacks and executes in the software. This is particularly powerful for executes where before you'd have to first copy them to a playback to set the fade time and bring them back. You can access this for Q stacks in the Q stack window. On playback 3 here I've got a simple Q stack recorded for my pars which is already set to Q timing so I hit my go button to step through my different colour cues I've got recorded. To use this new fade time option you go to the action menu on the top right, you hit fade times and then select the cue you want to modify the timing on, the Q4 here. You can now set the intensity fade in time, intensity fade out time when you move off to the next cue, and also the fade time for non-intensity attributes, so that's attributes like uh, position, colour and beam attributes. This is useful if you want to set this to a different timing to the intensity timing, so that the colour is already there when the intensity comes up for those fixtures in that cue. This works in exactly the same way for executes. If I go to my execute window here, I've got a simple cue recorded with an effect for my spots over here, which you can see at the moment has no fade time. To set the fade time on it, action menu, click on the item, fade times, and now I can set the intensity fade time. Intensity fade time in of two seconds, out of three seconds, and then I've got a release time. The release time is used because there's no, it's only one cue in the cue stack, there's no multiple cues, so it's the time when I hit that button to go off, it's fade out time there. I'm going to set that to two seconds as well. Set fade times, you'll now see when I click the button here, you can see that effect and the intensity comes in over two seconds. And when I release it and toggle it off, you can see over two seconds, the effect stops and that fixture goes off.